Imagine going through your young adult life not knowing that somewhere in another part of the globe, meron ka palang kadugo na gusto kang makita at makilala. Yan ang heartwarming story na ibabahagi sa atin ni Avia Sahara Zunich who met her half-sister for the first time. I was shocked at first because I had no idea. Surprisingly, I got over it quickly and felt more of excited and happy because I've always thought what it would be like to have a sibling. She wrote to me because she saw that I was in Singapore and she saw my mama's post. So she got the courage to write to me and that was the first time she introduced herself to me. And of course, I wrote back. That was around August 2017, I think. Then after that, we met December 2017. It was fun. I was kind of nervous. What if she doesn't like me? They came here to Manila, all the way from Singapore, just to meet me. And they stayed with us. For the weekend, we went to the mall. I gave her this matchy teddy bear that I also have, San Beda varsity jacket, because at that time I was still in San Beda during my senior high. We would stay up all night watching movies, cartoons, and slept together. She's an athlete as well. She does gymnastics and swimming. I have been to one of her competitions. So from my observation, the thing that we have in common is that we are really concentrated and such positive thinkers. It's hard to explain because at the same time, we still manage to have fun. Pinanarinig natin ang reunion ng dalawang half-sisters who also share a passion for sports. Now, panoorin naman natin ang virtual hangout ni Avia at Patilga kasama si Sofia. An encounter that also ended on a heartwarming note. Narinig natin ang kwento nila kanina and now we are joined by Avia and her sister Matilda who is in Poland right now. So, hi Avia! Hello Matilda! Hi! Oh, hi! Hi Matilda, you're so cute! How old are you? I'm 12. You're 12! Oh my gosh, you're so young! Thank you for joining us, si Avia naman. Na nakakainti din ng Tagalog. Ano, ilang sinina? <laughs> I'm funny. Matilda, at 12 years old, you looked for your older sister. So we want to know how. How did you do that? How did you think to look for your older sister? I was actually, I had no idea I had an older sister. I think my mom found Avia on Facebook and they contacted each other. And I think they agreed to meet in Manila and we flew there with my mom. And I think we met when I was nine years old for the first time. As an only child, you know, I get you. Sometimes I look at my friends who have older siblings and I'm like, oh, I want to be able to tell my stories. I want to complain to someone. So I guess yeah. it's really amazing that somehow you were able to get the older sister you've been wanting for so long. We heard that you guys have been able to do a lot of bonding and like some activities together. And we want to ask if you guys can share some of those travel moments or bonding activities that you guys have done since you guys have been able to meet each other. We uh, love traveling. We usually, uh, before when she lived in Singapore, I went to her to Singapore like numerous of times. Just lately, we were both in New York uh, for Christmas. Then we spent the Christmas there with the, our European family. So it was so nice. Now I'm going to ask you a question and each of you should raise your name or your sister's name if you think it fits that question. And your responses have to match to prove that you guys know a lot about each other or know each other really well, okay? Are you guys okay. ready? Yeah. Okay. So yes. for the first question, who posts the most selfies, Matilda or Avia? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. And Avia. Me. <laughs> Avia also admits to it as well. And then, second question Who has a bigger appetite, Matilda or Avia? 
Me? Me? Okay, we I can don't know. Other. We'll find out in a bit. <laughs> uh, who likes to talk about boys more, Matilda or Avia? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matilda! Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Matilda, yeah. <laughs> I've talked to her about boys before. <laughs> and who's the fashionista, Matilda or Avia? Matilda, definitely. Matilda. I, yeah, I want to be a fashion designer when I grow up. Since you're both athletes, who does more intense workouts, Matilda or Avia? Me. Avia. Okay, they both answered Me. Avia. Who's the brainy one, Matilda or Avia? Me. <laughs> you as well. Okay. Beauty and brains, wow, why not? Who's the tougher sister, Matilda or Avia? Wow, they both had both? a for this one. Now that I feel like you guys have really warmed up to me especially, and I'm so grateful to be able to share, you know, this conversation with you guys, because I can really feel the love, even though, you know, I'm not necessarily <laughs> part of this relationship. <laughs> I definitely feel the love all the way from here. I want to ask something on a more personal note, and I hope it's okay with you guys. Um, it's If there's a chance for the both of you to reconnect with your father, would you be willing to take it? Considering the fact how our father has um, done some things that made us like kind of sad and heartbroken, I would... I do believe in second chances. I mean, I've already connected to him, but I guess that I wouldn't really want to take that chance. What I can see at 12 years old, you are a very strong girl, Matilda. And I'm sure so many other girls are looking at you right now and are like, I want to be like her. I want to be as strong as this person and know what I want. Props to you. And thank you, of course, for answering our, answering our question. And for at the Avian Aman, well, I don't know how to feel about this because I've never really communicated with our Tata. We call him Tata. And, um, Croatian. But if there's a chance, why not? I would, it, it would be nice and I would like for the three of us to, you know, get to know each other more. Thank you so much, Avia, for answering that question. And you know what? Whatever happened in the past, I think from seeing both of you girls, you know, so beautiful, so intelligent, so strong, and so in love with each other, I mean, there's nothing else to feel about this relationship other than happiness. I'm so happy for the both of you, and I know you guys are happy for each other. To end this talk on a sweeter note, can you guys share a short but sweet message to each other? When times get tough, um, there will always be one person that will love and support you, no matter who they are, that there always will be that one person that will stick by your side no matter what. So in this case, um, for me, it's Ate because I know she will support me no matter where I am or what I'm doing. And I just want to say that I love her for that. Aww. That was oh, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Matilda. <laughs> and the Avian Aman. Um. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> even if we live miles away from each other we have different time zones and all that you always know that i'm just a call away i'm just a message away whatever it is if it's about boys if it's about school whatever it is if you need something if you want to tell me something or you want to share something i'm just always here for you and i miss you so much and i love you so much me too. I miss you, Baba. Thank you, both of you. Thank you, Amy. Thank, Thank you, Matilda. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.